Hey guys, welcome to a uh, new video. I haven't uploaded in a long time, so I think this helped make up for the uh, lost time I've done. Uh, I had a great SG in the background, as you can see, but uh, I wanted to inform you that I am going to have more videos coming out soon. And, and more collaborations with um, my friends, and, and Afro, and Soul Reaper. And mostly I've been taking time away just playing other games, because playing other games has been fun. Play, playing Minecraft and stuff like that. So, I hope you guys uh, will enjoy this uh, top 9 life hack. And uh, I did kind of get this idea from, uh, what do you call it? Iron, the Iron Wolf is another YouTuber. Um, that's kind of a friend of this Afro. But, um, most of all, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And I'll see you later. Coming in at the number 9 spot is. A armor technique so place crafting table down and put your iron in a shirt formation then boots in the two slots here as you can see and then the rest in a shirt formation to where you could get um, helmet boots and a chest plate and then you just take the rest and make iron uh, iron pants I don't know why I missed up there so I think this is a real good tactic you guys can follow as well. coming at the number eight spot is the uh, furnace hack where you place the furnace down and you can use your wooden tools when you begin to just cook uh, anything up instead of wasting your coal or anything and this is a really good survival technique um i don't know if you consider a wife hack but i do and and this was number eight coming in at the number seven spot is the cook cook animals uh hack basically what you do is you place uh you, you find a chicken and then you place fire on it and you get this cooked chicken as you can see um, just to prove you that I didn't do anything or cutting, I'm doing it again real quick. There you go. Just cook uh, more chicken. So this is an amazing little life hack to get you cooked chicken without using a furnace. Let's move on to number six. The next one is a little running uh, glitch where if you run up anything, it basically allows you to run faster when you're running a quarter or something. This is a good SG chicken. Coming in at number five is the uh, sword little hack where if you right, you press right and left click at the same time, it kind of puts a block effect as you're hitting too. So you take a little less damage every time you hit one of those dang zombies or skeletons. So coming in at number four is the torch on life hack to where if you place the torch when you're underwater and you get all your bubbles a little health back. So it's a really nice little trick. A lot of you probably know it, but it... coming in at number three is a really old one, another one old one. But if you dig a two um, width hole, and one side you just kind of do straight down like it is, and the other side you just kind of stay up on. You will, you know, you'll never fall in lava because you always know what's under you. So I, this is really old, but it's a really like life hack you could say, just to keep you mining straight down because this is actually a really good trick. Coming at number two is an amazing trick if you stack iron on top of torches in this formation, and then you place glass a uh, block away from the torch, then you will actually um get a cool water elevator effect that will happen and it says this is an amazing trick for your minds and when you're playing in your world it's just one of those amazing tricks i've ever found this is why it's going on the number two spot number one spot i think is the most tedious one of all but i want to show you what happens after you do the after you do this as you can see it made a cool little a water fit ele elevator thing out of the ice because ice actually does an update and um up 1.8 so you can make epic water elevators in your minds anywhere it's a good way to get up and down in your world get up to a sky fortress you could say and get down from a sky fortress out of using one of those boring ladders just make a cool thing like this so i thought this was really good let's go on number two spot let's move on to number one coming in at number one spot is a nether portal uh, thing where you place two lava down there uh, you, pray, you break two blocks in the ground, and then you place lava, and you place water. Next, you want to place glass. I mean, not well, glass mostly, but um, any block in this kind of formation. Place lava, water, lava, water, and just keep following that same order all the way up to the last bit. Lava, water. Once you've done that, 
next thing you want to do is go over to the right side and do the same thing. You want to keep, and you want to do that same thing to each side. This costs a lot of iron and stuff, but if you're unable to find diamonds and you have a lot of iron and you know where a lava patch is, this is one of the best techniques you can ever do to get to the Nether as quick as you can, because this is one of the best techniques I've ever seen to get to the Nether. And I wouldn't even think of this. I'm I'm too stupid. And after that, you want at the top here. You want to kind of you want to make this formation out of um, any block. Place lava like you did at the top, and place water, and then you go. You got a fully functioning Nether portal. Which I think is one of the coolest things. Now just get um, you know a shelf of flint and steel, and there you go, number one on my list. There you go, my top nine life hacks for Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This took a little bit to um, actually edit and make because I'm actually in editing form right now, recording a narration. And if you if you want uh, any other type of um, top nine, then say so in the comments, and I'll try to make sure I can do it. But, um, I did get a little inspiration from the Iron Wolf to make this, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you later. Ah!